Hi, my name is Joe Olson. I'm the city traffic engineer here for the city of Fort Collins. And today I'm here to, to talk a little bit about how we intend to operate the traffic signals as it relates to the MAX bus rapid transit system uh, that will be going in and starting operation in 2014. What we've got here is we've got a simulation program which allows us to actually show and demonstrate and evaluate how traffic will operate with uh, different signal timings or different configurations, or in this case, the addition of the MAX BRT line. You can see what we're looking at here is Harmony Road going east-west across here. This is College, this is Mason, and this is the MAX BRT operating in its own fixed guideway in this area. You can see there's a bus right now just heading northbound. This is actually a bus stop here, um, and so as, as this runs through, we'll see some of the buses come down and stop here, pick up passengers, and then continue through the light. What we're trying to do with this uh, signal operation is we're trying to, to give as much priority to the buses as we can in order to make them as efficient as we can without actually causing you know, an unsafe situation for traffic or the buses on Harmony Road. You can see here we've had a bus pull up southbound. He stopped at the, the, the stop loading passengers. We have a detector right here in front of the bus. When the bus starts to go, that trips the light, which just went yellow and red on harmony and goes green immediately for the bus. And so that will be the, the standard way that we're trying to make that work with one exception. And that is, is if we have a bunch of traffic coming on harmony here being released from college, we're going to hold the light for the bus in order to get that traffic through. We're showing this here again in another, another example. You'll see the light just turned green here for westbound traffic on harmony at college. As they come up here towards the new max BRT line, you'll notice that we get a bus coming up here, right here he trips over the sensor, but in this case, since all this traffic is coming, his light remains red, the light stays green on Harmony, and this main queue of traffic or platoon of traffic, you can see the last car kind of coming through here. You know, once he gets through, only then will the light turn yellow for Harmony Road and serve the bus. I'm gonna to try to give the bus as much priority as we can but the reason we wanted to make sure that that big group of cars is getting through again is just for safety because when you display a red light like that to a, a large group of cars as they're coming up that are expecting a green light, you know, you run the risk of in, increasing the risk of rear end crashes and worse yet if you could get somebody who would actually run the red light and hit the bus, which could be a, a real serious crash. And so, so I've got one more on here that we can watch where again we won't have traffic coming on Harmony and so the bus will get an immediate green light as they come up. Again, you can see the traffic has just been released westbound on Harmony. And they're coming through. See the light just went yellow there. And the last car coming through here. The light goes yellow there. Hopefully, there it goes. And then now you can see that the big group of cars on Harmony is gone. And now we'll see a bus come up now here on the BRT hits the sensor, trips the light, and immediately gets the green light to go through and up to the bus stop to load passengers. So that's it in a nutshell, how we hope to make this work. We'll be doing the same type of timing work at all the crossings along the BRT, uh, not just on Harmony, but as, as it crosses the other, other streets east-west up there as well. They'll all basically work the same way. We'll be trying to give the, the bus as much priority as we can while still maintaining a safe uh, transportation system for motorists using the east-west cross streets who have to go across that uh, BRT line. If anybody has any questions or would like to talk about it or get more information, they can call us at the City Traffic Operations Department at 970-221-6630. Thanks.